Hello fellow vintage lovers, my name's Kat and this is The Vintage Redhead. And today I've got a video outlining my daily 50s pin-up inspired makeup routine. This is a very, very simple makeup routine, really easy to do even if you have very limited makeup knowledge. So stay tuned for that and see you on the other side. So this is me without anything on my face, I've just washed it. And the first thing I'm going to apply is just a really simple moisturizer Olay. It's, I think it's like the seven in one total effect. Realizing that I haven't um, tied my hair back. So you'll see me put on a headband very shortly. I've got a pretty big sit on my forehead at the moment. So hopefully that is not disgusting anyone. It will be covered up very shortly. I like that moisturizer because it has a little bit of sun protection in it. And so does my foundation. So combined, uh, we get about a 30 SPF, uh, 35 SPF. So that's not so bad. Next up, I'm going to apply my foundation. That is Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've tried a bunch and I still think that this is the best. I, in fact, I think it's, it's incredible <laughs> is what it is. They have loads of different shades. It really does last all day. I just dab little bits. I, I take one full pump and then I dab little bits of my face. Oh yeah, one thing is that it doesn't come with a pump. So you have to buy a separate pump, which is a bit absurd. I, th I think I just got one of these Beauty Blender brushes from Amazon. I don't think it's a branded one, but it, it does the job. I still think it's, it's, it's definitely my preferred way to apply makeup. Seems to just give the most um, smooth, flawless finish, particularly with double wear. I'm realizing now that I have uh, a need to moisturize my lips. I like to do this before I put my makeup on. Um, I'm just using a, a really nice um, balm with 30 SPF protection, ultra sun lip balm. Um, next up, my, my ridiculously um, overused Maybelline, which one is it? It's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. It is good. It's good, especially for the price. It's It's absurdly cheap and does a job comparable to a lot of the more fancy, like I've got the YSL Touch Eclat and uh, Touche Eclat, I don't know how you say that, but um, this one seems to be really, really great and not so heavy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not impressed because basically I've recently gone from a, a, a lighter foundation to a darker foundation and that, that particular shade of the Maybelline concealer is too light. So I'm adding a little bit of pan stick, which I bought because it's, it was actually a traditional 1950s, I believe, makeup product. And for whatever reason, it works really nicely as a concealer. I haven't used it all over my face yet, but it, it looks really promising. Really nice one to have like in your handbag when you're out and about and you just need to reapply a little bit. Ah, and my favorite. Next up, I'm going to add some blush. Uh, that is the Bourjois Little Blush Pots. Again, this is another traditional makeup product. It's so cute. That, that brush is just the cutest thing. Really precise as well. It's got a little mirror in it so you can reapply it again i keep this one in my in my purse that's in the shade um 34 rose door uh now i'm just going to apply a dusting of powder um it's just a, a maybelline um like lasting finish uh powder and translucent and i have to make a face i put a little bit on my lips it, apparently it helps lipstick stick on a little bit better last a little bit longer um, I look like a granny at this point, but a very, a very powdery face granny. Um, this is a really nice uh, alternative to putting concealer on your eyelids. I really don't like putting concealer on my eyelids because it undoubtedly will crease. Whereas this amazing little pot from MAC, it's um, a pro long wear paint pot. I just use a tiny little dab, as you'll see, and then apply that really, really delicately to my eyelids. And I swear to God, your eyeshadow will not crease. It will stay on really bright and beautiful all day. Next, I've got another MAC product. This is a really nice white with a bit of a shimmer in it. It's got a little bit of a goldy tint to it. Um, I was trying to find one that was just pure white. I think they, they do one called Gesso, but the um, assistant in the Mac store was like, nah, don't get that. Get get this, this lovely shade, which is called Nylon. This is a really nice palette from Mac and I'm really obsessed with it. It has a lot of really nice um, neutral mattes and a few shimmery tones, some purple, some browns work really, really well if you are a redhead. Oh, what am I applying? I'm applying Shroom. Shroom is, is very delicate. You hardly see it, but it just kind of blends everything in. Then I'm going to go for a shade called Pleasing to the Eye. And it is pleasing to the eye. It's a pinkish 
um, neutral shade, which again works pretty well with my pink um, skin skin tones. And I put that on most of my eyelid, um, barring the inner corner and the brow bone. So this is kind of my in the middle shade. All right, and then I'm going to go to shade sandstone and a touch of espresso. So this is, I'm just adding a kind of brownie shadow in the crease and blending that as well as I can. <laughs> Again, these three or four eyeshadows are my go-tos. I'll wear the, this kind of combination most days. If you're somebody who likes something a little bit more delicate, then I would recommend just using shroom and pleasing to the eye that they're just some really nice, like delicate, almost like flesh colored tones. All right. So this is me now um, doing my eyebrows. I use at the moment, I'm literally just using eyeshadow and a eyeshadow um, an eyebrow brush. Um, I've always liked my eyebrows as they are. So I really just use that eyeshadow to, to bulk them out a little bit more and um, just really define the, the natural shape of them. They are not twins. They are not sisters. They are distant cousins, my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to brush them into a nice shape. I, I tend to take the um, outer edge down a little bit to give it a little bit more of a vintage style. But for the most part, I think they're fairly authentic eyebrows to the to the time, to the 50s. All right. And this is my go to eyeliner, Kat Von D, the tattoo liner um, in black. That's just a really fantastic, um, reliably good pen eyeliner. Uh, I've tried multiple different ones. There was a, I think there was a Rimmel one that I used to like, but if I'm honest, this, this KVD one lasts the longest. It doesn't dry out. It's just well worth the investment. I've had, I've got quite downturned eyes with, I'm, I'm in my mid thirties that they're, they're, they're getting a little saggy. So I, I draw really fairly vertical lines. I do those sequentially so that I can be as consistent as possible then I draw a more or less straight line across into the roughly the middle of my eye and then I just fill it in as best I can there are, there are definitely different approaches depending on what shape your eye is um, and I think I'm a good example of somebody who's got aging eyes and downturned eyes and still <laughs> attempting to rock the cat eye look and mostly pulls it off mostly uh, so once I've done the the outer edge, I, I'm I'm actually doing the inner edge now. So just kind of a thin thin line, just starting in the corner of my eye, just to kind of complete the complete the effect. Now I have the scary tool, the um, the eyelash curler. I do not wear false eyelashes, but um, I think second to that is using an eyelash curler. It really does make a massive difference, and I will never. I, I, I can't let myself use mascara now without having curled them first and made some ridiculous um, <laughs> uh, face faces with my mouth. Now I've got a, a, a mascara that my mom gave me. It's it's nothing special. I haven't found my mascara of dreams. There's a really nice L'Oreal one that I like, but otherwise any mascara will do. One thing that I've noticed is that it does matter where you hold your mirror. So with uh, eyeshadow, for sure, I like to be looking down at the mirror. When I'm curling my eyes, I like to be looking straight on and I go back and forth with eyeliner. I generally like to be looking down to do eyeliner, but sometimes you need to check head on, especially if you have downturned eyes. I'm adding a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes because I've been doing it since I was 15 and I can't stop, but I know that that is not super authentic to the 40s or 50s, but we're not doing authentic today. We're doing cat's take on, on this. All right. So there's one last thing to do, and that is adding lipstick and I'm using the wonderful, this is my number one lipstick, Revlon, <laughs> upside down Revlon. It's shade 72 Fire and Ice. I love this lipstick so much because honestly, you don't need to use an eye, um, a lip liner with it. You can, but it's it's excellent um, in that. It, it will just glide on really smooth, buttery formula. Then you'll want to blot the lipstick with a little bit of tissue, make a sandwich, smile, and... Um, this will take off the first layer. And genuinely, this, this trick does make the lipstick last longer. I dust my lips lightly again with a bit more powder. And then I start dabbing. Instead of the swiping action, there is a dabbing action going on here just to add a little bit of color back. And then there'll be one final blot. Mwah. And you're good to go. That Revlon lipstick, it's, it doesn't claim to be long wearing, but it, it actually is decently long wearing. So I think that's it at that point. I realized that I need to do my hair. Um, and so my hair today is definitely not in the vintage style. It needs a wash, but I did also want to show you what is an easy go-to style that still makes you look like you've made an effort.
Um, I couldn't be bothered to get my regular rat tail comb, but you can you can do back combing with anything. I'm I'm back brushing is what I'm doing. So just taking a little section from the top of my head, a really, really rough section. I just want to give it a little bit more texture. I've got a cute little velveteen bow on a on a on a barrette. And that is what I'm rocking today. So that's pretty much the finished look. And the whole thing was done in real time in under 20 minutes. Um, and that was me sort of faffing a bit. But yeah, I, I would allow 20 minutes for this this look and and you're good to go. Well, I hope you found that helpful and enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, I invite you to click like on this video, subscribe to this channel, The Vintage Redhead, if you haven't already. I bring out new videos every week on a vintage inspired beauty and fashion and lifestyle. So I hope you stay tuned for more and I will catch you next time. Bye.